We made it through a 12 hour trip to Shelter Island Marina Boatyard to finally make our boat hybrid. We have one month, one Toyota Prius and one brain that can make it happen. Meanwhile, my job is to make sure we don't have as much growth on the bottom once we are back to the water. When you're scrubbing, uh, just make sure these two sharp corners will not damage uh, co covering. So don't put it like mm -hmm. sideways or something. And you just like... Yeah, yeah. Especially when it's gonna be like near those corners, it's yeah, super, super easy to scratch, but just do it slowly. It's super, super easy to pull it up. Okay. And put the gloves on. Plan for today. Super simple. First of all, remove all this carpet, cut the hole here, remove all these chairs, these two chairs go upstairs, these two chairs perhaps gonna stay here. This table perhaps we're gonna disassemble. If you haven't seen video about this table, check the link here in the description. I hope the video about the table will be a little bit later, but you know, it's coming. It's it's cool table. Uh, in any case, and also a clean up here, actually make more mess because we will remove the carpet and everything. And uh, for now it's dinner time and let's keep going. Breakfast time, it's breakfast. Uh, maybe it's breakfast, noon. it's still noon. It's yeah. breakfast. So it's gonna be a long day. Yeah, after a little bit longer break than we expected, we found out that we have another problem. What right now? Our door is not closing. I know something happened when we lifted the boat out of the washer. Um, well, I guess we are not closing this door right now for the next month. <laughs> it's going to be cold. <laughs> it's going to be cold. Hey, it's a good news. Look at that. So this is a floor and this is bolted down a hatch. This is exactly where I wanted to cut. So it means someone is actually planning what you would need to open the damn floor and get an access. That's damn good. That's really good news. Uh, let's start tearing it more. Ugh. So how you can see those uh, mounting plates for the carpet itself, they are completely molded on this side, uh, but not over there. So they are all molded all around this area and we knew about that. So the thing is, uh, we had the leak from our windows when we got the boat and all this area was completely soaked every damn rain. So the carpet here was completely black. And when I actually opened it up, I surprised how a uh, little amount of mold is... Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. So the carpet itself, I mean, uh, I touched the mold. Uh, um, so over there, it's not molded. Only corner is molded, which is surprisingly, because if you remember my video when I did remove uh, carpet in my office area, even uh, this lining underneath the carpet and the carpet itself was molded, uh, not like on the underneath those uh, planks. So it's kind of cool and interesting moment. Um, I'm glad that we're removing everything. So it's gonna be less moldy. You know, our videos are coming with little delay. 
We've been at the boat yard for almost a month already and spent a lot of time on our feet. So we've been glad we had a chance to test Fitwell shoes. They come in wide and extra wide options, which makes a huge difference in comfort when you are on your feet all day. Demon got the hiking ones. They are slip on, no laces, just easy to put on and go. And even though we didn't really have time for a hike, he's been wearing them every day while working on our project. Mine are more streetwear, but with straps. Check the exclusive link and 28% discount in the description. Thanks Fitville for sponsoring this part of the video and for keeping our feet happy while we are keeping fixing our boat. So what can I say? Look at that. We have hatches and not just only one. We have for the starboard side, for the port side, for the center part where is the path going between both engines. And there is three more actually at the front, which is I'm su honestly surprised what we even have those. I have no idea how to open them because somebody is actually increased the thickness of this panel over here. So yeah, I mean, I bet we would not be able to open those ones. But in any case, it's already great success because even if we will remove only one and two, in theory, it is going to be enough for us to move forward and uh, yeah, and do some stuff. <laughs> uh, now I need to clean up everything, remove all these nails, rusty, not rusty, uh, moldy pieces of wood, uh, which are supposed to be like mount points for the carpet, etc. So yeah, now there's gonna be a cleaning part, clean all of this stuff, and after. I can finally open the hatch. I really want to open it right now, but I need to clean those things first because, you know, one step at a time, make sure everything is beautiful. Heroically, Anna told me what she will finish all of that, so I'm not gonna spend my time <laughs> doing boring stuff. Your precious time. <laughs> I will start uh, dismantling this thing and start uh, putting engine apart because I'm pretty sure you will not be able to help me with it. Yeah, you need your brain for this. <laughs> well, yeah, it's pretty easy to finish it later. If everyone wanted to text in the comments what it was dangerous what I was doing, well, it was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Let's try to see if we would be able to open this thing. I think it should just lift up. I didn't see anything that would hold it, so... That was easy. Hello. <laughs> oh, my no, no, hold down. All right. Look at that. I'm so glad I don't need to cut this thing. Oh my god. I like the engine size, isn't it? That big. So I believe if I actually remove the heads, it should fit in a in a door. This is the plan. So hoist it out. Put it on the ramp. I still need to build the ramp because the ramp is gonna start somewhere from here and go all the way there. I wasn't here for like five minutes. <laughs> Day one, and we already have a hole. Nice. Would it be that easy as the previous one? Or no? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't see anything. Oh my god, I don't know who was that smart. So, apparently there's this piece of wood, which for some reason put on this corner here for no reason, because it was like, didn't hold anything. So this kind of 2x4 did crack on them. You can see there's a crack in the middle. And instead of just replace them 2x4, they bolted on another one from another side on a fucking million bolts. Like, you just need to unscrew like four screws there, four screws there, 
lower the damn piece down and that's it. You don't need to do anything. But no, they just decided they fucking... How much time did they took them? Oh my god. Whew. I can just easily remove this thing out of misery. And I can show you how fast they can actually could do that. Just remove. And even though I could lift this piece right now up and easily remove it, I'm just gonna show it to you what I can as easily lower it down from down here. That's it. Good job. This is pretty much done for today. Now I need to unload our engine hoist thing because I'm not gonna leave the engine by myself, you know. I'm I'm not that strong. Lazy, Lazy yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, I already have a hoist, it's already in the car. Let's go and grab it. Oh my god. Holy oh. oh, that's the sketchiest delivery ever. Oh. Piece by piece, it's gonna be way easier. <sighs> Honestly, I'm already tired, so. Now we're talking. Took me, oh, just freaking forever. And this is wrap up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So put a thumbs up, put a like. Wish us luck to swap the engine. It's gonna be really hard to remove the old Crusader. I put a new engine down. It's gonna be even more harder problem because the only opening I have is this tiny door. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.